born when she kissed me. I died when she left me. I lived a few weeks while she loved me. You like it? What is it? I, I want to put it in the script. I, I don't know quite where. So your friend wants to take you for a ride, but you've never ridden before. In this video, we cover the basics, so when you're riding on the back, you won't feel left behind. Here are some basic tips on how to be the perfect passenger. Gear isn't just for the rider. As a passenger, you are just as vulnerable as the rider that's in front of you. If they decide to put the bike down for a nap, you're going with it. If that happens, the right gear will greatly improve your chances of walking away. Don't settle for subpar helmets. Look for a sticker with the letters DOT, ECE, or Snell somewhere on the helmet. If the helmet looks very old or has any damage at all, ask for a new lid or decline the ride. It took a lot of effort, time, and money to put all of that knowledge into your head. Be sure to protect it with proper headgear. The best style of helmet is one that covers your full face. The helmet should fit snugly around your whole head with no pressure points. If you can turn your head easily within the helmet, then it is too big and will do little to protect you if the worst case scenario happens. Next on your list should be a long sleeved leather or ballistic weave jacket. You should be wearing heavy jeans at the very least. That means no thongs or short shorts, no matter how good you think they look. Riding a motorcycle is about protection first and fashion second. You will also need long fingered heavy leather gloves, as well as boots that cover your ankles. These are the minimum requirements to prepare yourself for the ride. If you don't have the things on this list and the rider cannot supply them, then it's best to skip the trip. Mounting and dismounting. Never get on or off the bike unless the rider says they're ready. The best way to tip the whole thing over is to leap on or off when the rider isn't expecting it. To get on, first let the rider know. If the rear seat is taller, as in this example with a sport bike, step on the rider's peg on the left side while their feet are planted firmly on the ground. Use the rider's shoulders to help you balance as you lift your right leg over the seat and sit down. Then once you are seated, move your legs to the passenger pegs and let the rider know you are ready. To get off, reverse these steps and exit from the left side. How to sit. A motorcycle is a dynamic machine. The rider is constantly making small adjustments throughout the ride. You can literally become a backseat driver just by moving your weight around. Sit on the seat with your feet on the passenger pegs. Keep your body upright and look ahead at all times. In other words, keep your phone in your pocket until you are off the bike. You can place your hands on the hips of the rider or around their waist. Do not sit or lean against the rider. Leave yourself a little room so your helmet doesn't smack against the riders when the bike is coming to a stop. If you remember nothing else, sit still. In my experience, most passengers start to move around once the bike slows down because they think it's safer to move around at this point. In some cases, it's the opposite. The slower a bike moves, the less stable it becomes. Any unexpected movement can tip the bike over, so if you have to adjust your position, simply let the rider know first. Acceleration when the bike begins to move, lean forward slightly to counteract being thrown back. If you forget about this, you may panic and yank on the rider, which could cause them to lose control of the bike. Another thing you can do is squeeze the bike with your thighs and press your weight down on the pegs as you lean forward. This helps you maintain your balance. If your rider is being too aggressive, ask them to slow down a bit for you to get used to everything. If they don't, find someone else to ride with. When the rider applies the brakes, your body will lean or even slide forward on the seat. You need to counteract this so you don't slide into the back of the rider. Just like when you're accelerating, use your legs to keep yourself in place. If the rider tends to stop aggressively and you're on a sport bike, you can reach around and place the palms of your hands on the top of the gas tank. Do not, I repeat, do not place your hands against the rider's back or shoulder blades. It shoves the rider's weight against the bars, making it difficult to control the bike and sometimes even steering the bike in an unexpected direction. Cornering bikes lean. It's what makes them so much fun. When the bike is cornering, the rider may move around or even hang off a bit. Don't try to emulate them. As a passenger, the more you are part of the bike itself, the better. So if the bike leans, you follow the angle of the bike. Being that most new passengers feel uncomfortable with this idea, the best tip I've found over the years is to look over the inside shoulder of the rider as you go through the corner. In other words, if you're turning right, look over the rider's right shoulder. If left, look over the left. This does not mean you lean more than the bike. It just helps remind you to keep your body aligned with the angle of the machine. Communication. Talk to your rider before, during, and after the ride. With helmets and wind noise, it's very hard to hear anything. So work out a few simple signals, such as tapping on the right leg for them to slow down, or the left to stop. 
Let them know if you are new, and don't be afraid to tell them if you are scared. Everyone is new at something sometime. If you need to tell them something unplanned, tap them on the shoulder to let them know you want their attention. When they acknowledge you, speak loudly and in small words. And make sure to take responsibility for your ride. Make it clear what your expectations are, and don't ride with any rider or any bike that makes you uncomfortable. Hopefully with these tips you can turn a possibly unnerving experience into a thrilling one. If you like this video and what I do here on this channel, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Seriously, it takes one second, you lazy assholes. <laughs> Clicking the bell on the bottom right is the best way to stay up to date when a new rocket flick is available. Until then, I'll see you out there. Say it back to me, let's hear how it sounds. I was born when she kissed me. I died when she left me. I... I lived a few weeks while she loved me. <laughs>